In this video, I'm going to show you how I built my aquaponics system using the IBC tote. There's many ways to do aquaponics. It's hard to say which one is best, but I chose the IBC tote because it was rugged enough, big enough to raise enough fish for us to eat, and it was simple enough to make. The first thing I did was I painted my tote. I painted it because I wanted to keep the algae growth down. Now, some fish, like tilapia, will actually eat the algae. But in general, it's best to keep it down because algae will consume some of your nutrients. The next thing I did was start to modify my cage. I cut mine down so, to, so I can have a 12 inch grow bed. I use a disc grinder in doing this. After I cut the cage, I use a special grinder to buffer the sharp edges. Once you do that, you also want to spray the edges, the exposed edges with some rust proof paint because it's going to be outside so you don't want to get some rust and get your cage to start corroding. Now the cutting of the cage is finished, this is kind of what it's going to look like when you do it. You can imagine putting the uh, plastic IBC parts inside of it to give you a feel for what it's kind of going to look like. Next, I cut a hole for the grow bed. This is where the water is going to drop down from the grow bed into the fish tank. The next thing I did is I measured the plastic IBC tote so that I can cut it. Again, you want to match it up with the cage, so that means that I cut mine so I can have a 12 inch grow bed. Lastly, you need to cut a hole in your grow bed for the plumbing. This is where the water is going to drain out of the grow bed into your fish tank. Now for setup. I made sure it was level. I did this because I wanted to know the exact level my water is going to be in my system. By knowing how much water I have in my system will help me determine the maximum amount of fish I can have later. This also helps me know the level of water will be in my tank before it is siphoned out the grow bed by the bell siphon. After this, I felt this was a good time to clean the system. You, wanna, you don't want to make sure you don't have any contaminants in the system that's going to be harmful to the fish. So I gave it a good scrub down and wash down. Now I was able to hook my plumbing up. The system operates with two pumps. The larger pump is to pump the water from the fish tank with the nutrients into the grow bed. Once the water gets to a certain height, the bell siphon will suck the water out. I left a link below from another YouTuber that explains the building of a bell siphon. Now, the second smaller pump I use is more of a precaution. Just in case the larger pump fails, you need something to keep the water circulating and keep oxygen in the system for the fish. What this pump does is it takes the water inside the tank and it just recirculates it back inside the tank just to add aeration for the fish. Now I added my growing media. I use Hydroton. Hydroton are clay pellets. They don't have any nutrients. Their whole purpose is just to hold the plant steady so they can absorb the nutrients. And remember, the nutrients come from the fish, which is being pumped up by the larger pump that is in the, the bottom tank. To get my system up and going, I first had to add some seaweed extract. These are nutrients for the plants. When you first start your system up, there's no nutrients in the system, so you got to add some seaweed extract, some type of nutrients for your plants to survive. Now it's time to add the plants. If you have live plants, what you need to do is you're going to have to loosen up the soil. So what I did is I dipped mine into a bucket of water to loosen up the soil. Once I did that, I was able to put them into the, the hydroton. After you insert the plants into the grow bed, you can also use a seaweed extract to water the plants you just put in. After about two weeks and the water has stabilized for the fish, I wanted to cycle my system, so what I did is I started off with some goldfish first just to make sure everything is going to be okay for the tilapia later. And goldfish are inexpensive, they don't cost much, so unfortunately you might lose a goldfish or two to get something going. It's impossible for me to prepare you for everything you need to know about aquaponics or even all this need to know about this type of system. All systems are in work in progress and it does take time to build nutrients and get the right balance. Thanks for watching and be sure to let me know if you guys got any questions or comments or anything that I can do better. I appreciate your help. Again, thanks for watching. Hope